I have bought several domains here on Namecheap.com. Now, I've used several different sites to buy domains, but I've always liked Namecheap because the pricing seems to be the best a lot of the time. Plus, they make the process pretty easy. So when you click the link in the description or the affiliate link top comment, you can go to Namecheap and just type in the website domain that you want. So if you have an idea for a website that you want, like for me, I might do spencermartindesigns.com. I can type in that whole domain, click search. Now it's going to search to see if that domain is available. If it's not, it'll give you an option to maybe make an offer on it. But if it is available, you're going to see a big check mark here and you're going to be able to add that domain to your cart. It also gives you a lot of different suggestions here of like .org, .net, and a ton of other domain URLs like .game, .online, .bio. So if you want something that's not just .com, you can choose those. I'm a pr big proponent of just getting the .com URL. And right now they have a little deal for new domains or new customers. And it looks like we could get this for $5.98 per year. We'll look to see if we can find even more discounts. But what we would do is once you find the domain that you want, you're going to add it to your cart. And it's going to offer a lot of different things, including web hosting, etc. If you're just looking to purchase a domain, you don't need to purchase any of that stuff. All we need to do is go up to our cart and view our cart. Inside of here, we do have free domain privacy if you'd like to set that up. And we have the domain registration on one year right now. So your domain registration is per year. It's an annual fee. There may or may not be discounts for doing multiple years. In this case, I don't believe there's necessarily a discount past that first year. Uh, there's always offers for this kind of stuff. You can see in the right-hand side over here, there's some coupon codes from Honey. So if you want to download the Honey extension, there's a link in the description for that. It's pretty nice, little browser extension. Anytime you are shopping online and there's promo code potential, you can just literally click a button to apply the codes. We'll do that here in a sec to see if we get any more of a discount. So if you want domain privacy, which is kind of like people could look up your domain and find out who it's registered to. And if you have domain privacy, it's going to block that. It's going to be some sort of like a, a different account that shows up that kind of is just like, this domain is private. You can't see their personal information, their address, etc. So enabling that is fine. It's free forever and zero dollars. So you could just enable that and purchase domain privacy. Now there's a lot of other things here, but like I said, if you're just buying the domain, you're not looking at web hosting, anything like that. That's what this video is about. Then boom, you've got your domain registered for one year right there. Now with Honey, I'm going to try to apply the coupon codes. Honey's going to go through a bunch of coupon codes and try to apply these. And we'll see if any of them actually work to give us a better discount. Right now, it's $7 for a domain for a year. It's a really good price. A lot of times, $20 per year is what things end up being. Name cheap. You saw when we did the five years, it was something like maybe $70. Um, so five years at uh, $12 a year would be 60 So that's like $13 a year for a domain. It looks like we got the best deal we could, but with Honey you actually get cash back. So when you purchase this, you get anywhere from 1% to 10% cash back. It's like free money, you guys. So it's pretty awesome. I always use Honey. So we confirm our order and we can sign up for an account. So we can create an account um, and create a username. As we fill all this in, I'll probably just skip ahead here to the end of the account creation. So once you've filled in all the contact details and the payment method that you're going to be using for this domain, at the bottom is a renewal area for the renewal settings for this domain. So if you want it to auto renew, you don't want to have to worry about this again. You would select this checkbox right here. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to auto renew this domain. So I'm going to uncheck it and I'm just going to have this domain on my account and we're going to hit continue. The last step in this process is reviewing your purchase. So you just want to make sure did I spell my no domain name correctly? Um, am I paying for the domain registration that I think I'm paying for? It looks like I am here. One year, $7. That's great for just a domain, just to have it. Uh, free domain privacy forever. That's another thing that you want with your domain because you don't want your details to be just so easily found. You can literally go to whois.com and search any domain to find the domain details, like the contact information. 
So as long as these two things line up, that's all you have to do to actually purchase a domain. And what we would do then is just simply hit pay now. And we're gonna have this domain on our account. Now from there, you can build out a website on Namecheap. Namecheap does have web hosting. I've had that for years before. Or you can take your domain and transfer it somewhere else or utilize it on a different platform's website hosting. So even if you build your website on like Wix Website Builder or on WordPress, you're gonna be able to take this domain and use it, even if you buy it through Namecheap or if you buy it through a site like GoDaddy or if you buy it directly through one of your web hosting sites. But as long as you own the domain, it doesn't matter where you purchased it. That domain is going to be available to you to use. It's rightfully yours. And so after this order, we've got the domain. I'll probably block out a lot of the details on this page. Um, but the next steps we can take are to go to our account. So if you go to your account's dashboard, up here you can see we have account and then dashboard, we can actually see the domains that we currently have. And so on the dashboard, we see some of the recent activity on our account, but under the domain list here on the left-hand side, we see the domains that we have, whether or not auto renew is set, and then we can actually manage that domain. And when we go to manage that domain, we have a lot of different options here, like we could redirect domains, we could also add hosting to the domains. So we have products, and when we click products, there aren't any services attached to this domain right now, but we could add like a website hosting to the domain. This also shows you the validity of it and the status of it, whether it's an active domain. You can add years to your domain, so if you want to increase the years at any time, you could add like three years to the end of this domain registration. It also lets you know what the name servers are, which is something that's important when you're transferring the domain. And good thing about Namecheap is if you are transferring, there's a lot of documentation for exactly where you're transferring that domain. So it's very easy to transfer a domain to an existing site that you've already created or another service. But that is how to quickly buy a domain here on Namecheap. Let me know if you have any questions down below.